Let's uh, see if we can do some kind of awkward fade. Probably, like that. Wow. I don't even think that was that awkward. No. It's like uh, you've handled a fader before. And let's flip over to another WISE project that I'm going to let you drive around and talk through some of uh, sure. some of the source from here and play it back for so, folks. Yeah. Um, so uh, can I expand this to full screen? Sure, or that do it. No. Okay. I'm optimistic. What could go wrong? I checked the OBS thing. This one right there? Yeah. Does that work? It still seems good. Yeah. I'll live with that. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's happy out there in the world. Uh, where do we go? Yeah. Just start with that one? Yeah. Everyone seems happy. They seem happy. Great. Yeah. Moving on. Um, Biophony. Biophony. So this this was a, uh, uh, a little project um, that I was messing with uh, uh, a little while ago. Um, that that I occasionally go back and I look at, and I just kind of use this as uh, uh, just sort of a play area. Um, whenever I'm working on uh, uh, interactive ambiences, I'll kind of go in here and see what I've done before, and and uh, it's kind of a toolkit of different a implementations. Bit. Yeah, and so I have it separated out to, uh, as you can see, amphibians, um, frogs mostly, because um, salamanders and newts don't really make sounds. Um, constructed things, or which where I kind of uh, 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 put together new birds from other bird songs. Crepuscular uh, birds, which are birds that are uh, mostly active during dawn and dusk. Got it. Uh, diurnal, which are, are daytime birds, and primarily, and nocturnal are primarily nocturnal birds. Wow. Diurnal. Yeah, nighttime birds. Never heard that word. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, and then also insects uh, and, and mammals. Um, and then uh, this is actually how it started, this work unit. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this object here um, called Jungle, uh, which I'm not going to... Well, maybe I will play it. Um, it's a little bit of a beast sometimes. Let's see if we can actually hear it. We might have to turn it up. This is going to be a trend. I think you should just crank your master. Probably should. Yeah, this one's really not ready to play. Mm -hmm. It's um, in there. It's in there. Here. It's in there. Yeah. So, um, actually, let me. Uh, would we go up before? Twenty. Twenty. I tend not to mix my ambiences very loud because they're generally not the focus of the game. Mm -hmm. And you can oh. see down in the transport control yeah. that we're doing some kind of time-based offset, maybe delay offset in between some of those looping random containers. Yeah, let me uh, let me actually move yep. to a, a, a different one. Um, that'll give you a better idea of what I'm doing. Great. Um, so this is uh, this is a marsh wren. Nice. That you can hear. Oh, let it go. It'll repeat. You, you can know. see you have the delay transition. Oh, I do. I have a very long. 60 seconds. Oh, no, wait. No, that's between loops. So, Got it. Um, you can pin that if you want. I can. So, what's going on here is there's there's one. Uh, why, why, why did I stop that? Um, there, there's one large random container yep. um, that basically says, okay, a, a, you know, a marsh wren has sung for this amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, wait, you know, this amount of time, which is right now 60 seconds plus or minus whatever I have the random, you know, plus minus 20 seconds mm -hmm. um, before it sings again. Um, and that's for the full song, not just the individual phrases. Mm -hmm. So the song, which is what we're listening to, um, uh, has uh, a sequenced container contained within a random container. Yep, yep. So it plays once every 12 seconds, uh, plus or mi uh, minus 10 seconds. Let me actually uh, sh turn this off. Hang on. Don't move. OK. Oh. Oh, that's helpful. Dock that cool. for you. Oh, thanks. 
So I'm just going to make it more frequent, just so that we aren't waiting too long. Um, so it loops, it plays that sequence container um, 15 times plus or minus a few. Um, partly because I don't want the bird to play forever, uh, mm -hmm. but marsh wrens will sing for 10 to 20 minutes if you let them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that sequence that actually sequence, in that sequence, it. Uh, has, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five parts. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to stop this and unpin it so that I can walk through them. Um, it starts with the, uh, uh, the head of, of the song. So I've, I had, you know, really long, several really long recordings. Um, this is all from one bird. Got it. And I took every phrase within the song and broken into a sort of component parts yep um so the it starts with a head um you know which is something like that it's usually a double tone sometimes a single sometimes it's triple um and that immediately plays into i believe it's the neck let me check the sequence again Hey, can I make a request of Audio Kinetic? Yeah. Uh, I would like to be able to collapse a container inside the playlist so that I can just see the containers and not the actual sounds. Me too. Okay. So, um, it goes from there into uh, a random choice of neck. So, this neck phrase doesn't always get played. They don't always gotcha. sing it. But got a random chance of silence, I yeah. see. So it is usually, you know, one of these has um, a random chance of silence. Yeah, like, what's the weighting on that random container? Can you... So there's... Uh, All right. Uh, uh, no, so the random yeah, container yeah, is yeah. actually... Uh, ah, yep, there we go. It's mostly nil. Gotcha. 75% so nil, 20-odd mm -hmm. percent. That it'll play one of the next songs. Play. Got it. Um, then I believe it goes into the body, and so the body is Ooh. usually a, it's a long, stuttery, repetitive, and those are great. Yeah, and that's all one bird. <laughs> uh, it's just like, wow, it goes crazy. Uh-huh. Um, and then it has a, uh, what I call the waist, that doesn't often play uh it's even less of a chance than the uh, uh the neck um and those usually will be like like the body but a little bit shorter a little bit faster mm -hmm. um so but it'll always sing a body but it, they don't always sing the waist um and then a tail which uh is the end you know so these are the most common and then sometimes they'll have like something special got it um, so the sequence container puts these all through, uh, um, head, neck, body, waist, tail. And so every time I play it, we get a different song from this bird. I mean, it's literally bird dubstep, really. Yeah, right? really. If, if a marsh wren was kicking it on the windowsill right now, listening to this, they mm -hmm. would be like, WTF, someone is like, talking my game. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so marsh wrens are these, they're these cute, tiny, they're really tiny. They're about that big. No, a little bit. About that big. Um, tiny little uh, brown birds uh, with a big voice because they're hidden in reeds. They, mm. they're they often, um, the, the males, the females are usually at the bottom of the reeds making nests or looking after the babies, except when they're going for food. But the, the males uh, will hop in and amongst the reeds and they kind of, sort of hold on to the reed on its side and then sing and it has to be able to cut through these reeds which are probably blowing back and forth in the wind and so they they have this really clangorous voice right that, uh, so it can ring through wow um, and so now you took this one bird's recording yep. we're, we're saying maybe like an hour or two of this bird yakking mm -hmm. and you found all of these sequences mm -hmm. that include these different components, a body, a head, a neck, a tail, a waist. Mm. You went in and snipped out each of those sections from each of those yep. expressions. Um, 
So you got all these tiny little wave files, tiny little elements. Can we pull up one of uh, one of the wave yeah. files just for a second well, we'll in the source the editor? Uh, sure. You might need to dock that somewhere so we can see it in the main okay. window. Up at the top, maybe? At the top? Sure. sure. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got this tiny little snippet that includes just a, just a few little mm -hmm. ch chirps in it. And now you've done that for each of these elements across each of these different sections. Yep. And then you're using Wise to dynamically recombine them, randomize them, mm -hmm. in some cases weighting some of them that are more unique than others, yeah. uh, so that ultimately you get a full expression that is shuffled between these different sections. Mm -hmm. That is still sounds like a March run. Right. So that's that's what they are doing in real time. You know, the uh, most birds uh, have uh, a number of phrases that they use. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's uh, to uh, uh, it's limited to an individual, or sometimes it's to uh, a, a species. Mm -hmm. But they have um, uh, these phrases that they ju they just pull from, mm -hmm. and the more they can pull from them, the more it's sounds like I'm not swatting flies I'm 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 a marsh wren pulling <laughs> phrases um the more they pull from them the more it sounds like they they have uh, uh, a greater language um mm -hmm. than uh uh might otherwise seem which is also the same thing we do you know whether it's the 44 phonemes you know in Indo-European languages like English mm. um or whether it's individual words that we use um, we're just recombining them in real time. Time real combining, we are in. <laughs> um, which uh, brings me to my, uh, something else I like to do. I'm just gonna copy this really quick. Yeah. Um, what I love about this is that, is that there we go. Um, you know, I can now, create something, actually I'm not even going to do that. Uh, where's the property editor? It's tucked it's, in there oh, in between. Oh, there we go. I'm actually going to change this into a... Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm going to change this into a random Yeah, thing. you are. Um, you know, and we can create an entirely yeah. new... Oh, that's right. I need to Continuous it. Yeah, we'll, oh, just, yeah. Uh, we'll do that. And uh, I don't, I don't want to transition. I just want continuous. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this will be individual. So we can have like. I am just playing the tail now, aren't mm -hmm, I? Mm -hmm. yeah, hold on one second. So that is fine. That's fine. It's not continuous. That's not continuous. That's not continuous. That's continuous. Okay. Yeah. You know, and and if we want, you know, we can uh, pitch it up by twelve hundred cents. And now we have, you know, something that really annoys you. Ooh, yeah. You know, wow. It's like, it's like an evil hummingbird. We almost went insect. -y. Yeah. Or we can uh, go on and make it a little bit bigger on an alien world. Unnatural. Unnatural. Yeah. Um, and. For me, that's a really good starting point for um, creating ambiences that feel real without actually being real. You know, yeah, it's like getting if I, freaky. If now. I wanted to, you know, I could take out the body. Yep. Endless variations. Mm hmm. And you haven't even started randomly pitch shifting everything. No, not at all. Well, let's do that. How random should we go? Minus two octaves. Oh, minus right. two octaves. Plus, plus, one, plus two octaves. Wait. Nope. Did you do it? No. Uh, grab that one, maybe. This one? Yeah. I'm used to a trackball. There you this, go. This mouse thing is weird to me. 
Space monkey, yeah, it was uh -huh. kind of like a space monkey. How far should we uh, randomize this pitch? Anyone have feelings? Those of you still with us? I'm I'm thinking plus twenty four hundred, plus two octaves. Yeah. Plus Is that four octaves? Two octaves. Well, if you get two octaves up and two octaves down, that's four octaves. Yeah, do that. Okay. Uh, so go down. And up. Oh. Let's actually start with this back at. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this pain. Wow. Kill the pain. There we go. Killed. No, mm -hmm. I didn't. Mischief managed. Yeah! That sounded like my car alarm, actually. Wow. Well, that sounded like my stomach. Wow. <laughs> oh, and so this that, isn't fun at all. No, not at all. This wow. Is, I really hate playing with this. I hate doing this, totally. Um, yeah. And one of the things that you'll notice is that all these phrases are really dry. Um, that's because uh, these are meant to play through whatever the uh, real-time environment is. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have a real-time convolution refer, you know, for instance, of a forest, or then you have one for a marsh, or you have uh, some other dynamic reverb, um, these would take on the character of that space. Uh, whereas if they had baked in reverb, it wouldn't necessarily feel like it's supposed to be like a baked in forest reverb for instance mm. and then suddenly you're in a marsh and it's not the kind of thing where players are going to go whoa that bird sounds like it's in a forest and i'm standing in a marsh but they they get the subtle cues mm -hmm. that it doesn't sound like it belongs in that space Got it. um for uh uh runtime uh efficiency though you know mm -hmm. they can easily be baked in yep Yep. And the process for cleaning those files up, I mean, did you have to do a lot to get them to this bone dry state or do they just kind of once you've once you've done your edits kind of fall in place? Uh so I usually start with bir with bird songs that are or any animal song that's as clean as possible. Mm -hmm. So, um that makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a round trip process process between uh, Pro Tools or Reaper and RX for noise reduction and background uh, 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 background elimination and stuff like that. Magical. Well, what a toolbox yeah. uh, to you know play with and create some inspiration. Uh, yeah. Thanks for opening that up for You're us and, and playing around. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been quite a journey today. Yeah. Yeah. Years. I mean, we have traversed... Decades. Decades. Not to mention, like, biome... <laughs> and half a continent. No, not... Yeah. I mean, I think when we first met, I was living in Minnesota, so that's half yeah. a continent. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, you were, you were, back and forth, back and forth between the Midwest yep. and the West, and uh, finally we lured you out here. Yep. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, shall we have a seat back down, and then we will uh, close this out for the day. Yeah. Okay. So. Wise Up On Air. This is, uh, it's a fun thing. How many of these? I'm enjoying it. Have um, done? We had a pilot okay. uh, episode that uh, Tali from Audio Kinetic and I uh, did uh, as a test run. It was, mm -hmm. it was great. It was uh, enough to put another one in place and hopefully uh, these continue to be a value of some kind uh, for folks. Uh, who's still with us out there? Uh, looks like PDX is hanging out. Good to see you, PDX. Yeah. I, <laughs> they make great UI elements, don't they, PDX? Bird sounds as UI oh, yeah. elements. I believe it. Uh, well, you know, the, the LCARS uh, UI from Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, most of the UI from that are all bird songs. Whoa. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and like, are there birds everywhere? Uh, in the world? Yeah. That means anyone with a microphone and a recorder can just go grab bird sounds, and they not only have nature, but they have UI. Yeah. Well, it, with a microphone and a recorder and the ability to access those. Yeah. I mean, we've all got them, right? Yeah. It's like uh, in our pockets, even. Uh, and what is it they say? The best recorder is the, the one, one that you, you have. have on you. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I uh, at one point in my life, I, I followed the always be recording philosophy. Um, and then I realized that I was recording so much that I wasn't actually listening or paying attention to the world around me. And so now I'm, I'm more uh, always be listening and try to remember what you hear. Stay in present. Yep. Nice. Well, that's a perfect spot to close it for the day. I think uh, staying present and thanks for being present here with me mm -hmm. today. Uh, again, it's this is a lot of fun, Damien. I'm awesome. glad to have been here. Thank you. Right on. Right on. Well, good to know you. Thanks for uh, hanging out and uh, thanks to folks for staying around. Uh, it was great to All have everyone here and. If you're watching this in retrospect, um, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, so whether it's here, there, mm -hmm. or somewhere else, we'll see you next time. So people can watch the previous episode? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Last words. Cheers. See ya. <laughs>